What is up everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband. Well actually let's go to Uxkahal and uh, let's go to the marketplace, let's go to the goods merchant and that's the highest I've ever seen that. I'm gonna sell it, uh just because that is honestly the highest I've ever seen that. We have a why do we have a short sword? Or that salt. And uh, we'll move this stuff up actually. And oil some there. So we got some denaires right there, but yes. So welcome back. I uh, how are things going with you? So what I'm gonna do now is travel. I have to go to King Harold's Kern Castle. Uh, yeah. So that was the last castle we took. I believe. Hello. Who are you? Oh my sweet Jesus. Okay. Halt. I'm corner. Give up. Give up, or I'll drown you like a dog. Um. We will fight to you to the end. You have 53 troops, so... I don't know if I'm going to win this. I don't really know. I've never fought these guys. Well, I've fought these guys before, but I haven't gone to town on them. But I do have a whole bunch of elite units, which will, I think, definitely help my cause. But they are also on horseback, so that should make things kind of interesting, I guess. Um, you know, I don't really know how things will play out. So, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Uh, should be should be a pretty interesting battle. You know, it won't be... Oh, wait. They're not on horseback. Then I feel comfortable I will completely destroy them. Even though they do seem to have longer weapons, which seems to tend to be good against horses, I still think I'll go to town on them. Oh, yeah, and look, these these are all the freaking towelhead turbans. Not that there's anything wrong with being a towelhead, but you're a towelhead. Uh, <laughs> no, it sounds so racist, but, uh, uh, Oh yeah, I got him. I thought I thought I got the I thought I got a different guy, but I was reading the wrong thing. But yeah, so we should easily. What are you throwing at them? Don't throw stuff at my men. Oh, uh, how did I not hit that guy? I thought totally thought I was gonna get him, right there. But uh, yeah, so we are obviously going to town on these guys, and uh, we are doing cool just fine. My Swati knights are just completely destroying them. It looks like, so uh, they just seem to be scattered everywhere, which I think that's part of the reason why. Oh, someone just died. Swati man at arms. Jesus, that doesn't happen often. Oh, it's probably happening from this cluster stuff. Cluster fudge. Yeah, let's not curse. Let's say fudge instead. So, uh, um, but yeah, so let's see. Um, alright, slave hunter. Alright, come on, what you got? Alright, yeah, we're just going to town, though. We're doing good right here. Alright, so we'll just chop through a bunch of these guys. And actually, you know what I really want to do? I kind of want to push upgrading my companions a little more. Because now when the question raises itself, do I want to start my own kingdom? You also have to raise the question, do I have people in my companions, you know, suit suitable to be able, you know, not to start, not to help me with my kingdom. But, you know, they have to, they become like vassals and lords and stuff, I guess. Uh, I think I could also get regular people to join me. Like, uh, that's the awkward part. I'm best friends with King Harrowless. But uh, I want him to join my party one day. I don't, I don't know. See, I, I, I guarantee there's got to be a way to, uh, like, increase my standing with him. We just won. I think we only took one casualty man-at-arms, which is pretty damn good. Oh, 50. We're not done yet, obviously. So let's go for round two. We have battle advantage of zero. So that means we should basically slaughter them. Well, actually, no. We slaughtered them before. So a battle advantage, and we had a battle advantage of negative four so now that we're attacking them like this and we're just gonna charge them oh come on i hit a freaking tree i didn't know you couldn't go through these things they, they look like you come that, that looks like a tree that you could go through doesn't it that, that does that does um so let's just go to war and uh ow i got 15 damage jesus that was a lot or my horse got 15 damage oh my god this is not good this is not good at all actually we're not even doing that better am i poking them really um, Jesus, though, I'm getting freaking killed. Ah, uh, gee, there's uh, so many of them. Sorry for not talking during that. It's kind of hard to concentrate and talk sometimes. So I, I, that just sounded stupid. I'm not even going to say that. Considering I am a commentator, I should... I, I Not that I've mastered the skill, but I'm pretty good at the talking skill and rambling even sometimes during commentaries. Because that's my commentary style, though. Like, when I'm listening to a commentary, that's my preference and also my style because it is my preference. I think it's better to talk more than less. Like, some people... Oh, God, they have a horseman. Let's kill the horseman. What? Oh, I'm using this sword. That's why I'm not getting it. That's why. Silly me. I forgot to switch weapons. Yeah, so let's just chop through these guys, or at least try through, try try to chop through these guys. And uh, oh, I thought I thought I was off my horse for a second there. I was like, oh god, because I saw that other horse just chilling there. But uh, so what do you got? Oh yeah, come on, me and me and the Swatty and Knight right there just went to town on him. So let's try and get him. Don't attack my men from behind. Oh, I missed. There's a tree. Um, 
Yeah. Come on, let's get you. But now they're annoying to catch up to. Oh, I thought I heard someone scream outside, and I thought it was the horse screaming. I was like, oh my god. So, uh, all right, we got you. Let's get you. We got you as well. I don't want to kill the horses. The horses are nice. But uh, I think we just won. I'm assuming some of them at least routed. And uh, because I don't. Ah, really? We got all of them? Saranid Sulanti. Uh, do I want to capture any of you? I really don't. So let's just release the Swadian prisoners, even though I kind of want to capture them for myself. Mercenary Horseman, Slave Crusher, two of them, Slaver Chief, and some more Knight. Wow, that was three Knights. That was good. Um, and wow, up keeps going up, up, up. But, uh, oh my god, holy ragged Saranid leather boots. Seriously, cowboy boots galore over here, and the turbans. <laughs> so what is this, a bent? Oh, those are only scythes. Because uh, I think pikes, right? That would do a number on me. I got 800, I got a lot of denaries from that, Jesus. So, uh, more of you are probably ready to upgrade, yeah. So, footmen. Um, so we did pretty good right there, considering we don't even have a full party. But uh, my morale is excellent. Is that as high as it goes? Like, because we just completely destroyed that guy. And I kind of wish you would just see him running around, though. You know, like, after the fact, like how you do with other people. But, uh, there's a battleground. Oh, so that's what the X's mean. Um, some soldiers are ready to upgrade. Interesting. So let's so get some more man-at-arms. Awesome. Um, Alright, so by order the this, uh, this has been inter indicated for treason. Senegusda Castle. If they start attacking Tyr, though, that's where the problems will arise. Uh, who's here? Who is here? Who's that? Um, leave. Who are you? Uh, oh my god, that we just made a little, not a lot of money even, but now the fact that we're net revenue from Dieworks, we got one. But uh, I think that Dieworks is a very good idea because we're making well, we're making a lot more money now. And uh, come on, guys, stop raiding it. I want to talk to you. Oh, hello. Hello, Congo Domo. Count Olaf. You want to fight him, Count Olaf? Come on. Count Olaf. Count Olaf. Count Olaf. Stop running from me. Uh, I heard you defeat. Whoa, you have a cool shirt. Defeat. Uh, I whimpering for heard him whimpering for your uh I support myself about the time being yeah you don't like me so I'm gonna go away from you but I'm gonna kill you so you wanna fight halt I heard that you're mere, ever since anxious cross swords with you um we will fight to the end so let's charge the enemy so you guys wanna mess you can mess look at that guy he, whoa he is like a hammer that is awesome but, uh, yeah, so now the military campaign on these guys starts. Oh, you look like a freaking BA. Whoa, you got some good troops. See, this is what I mean. I thought they all were like this, but instead we got a bunch of footmen before. But, uh, what was that? Uh, Saranid horsemen. Saranid mount mutes. Oh, that's what they have. The Saranids. Oh, wait, I was just attacking my own guy right there. But, uh, yeah, so they have Saranid mount mutes. Those, I think the Swadian knights are technically stat-wise better. Plus, I have a whole bunch of Saranid Knights. I doubt they can match my Knights to Malmukes one-to-one. But, uh, still, I think... I, I don't know. Though I think Horsemen on Horsemen, we may... We'll, we'll win Horsemen on Horsemen, but at the same time, I think it'll be more interesting battles than with the Nords. Like, obviously, the Nords' castles, we did go to town on them a little. Or the Nord castles, they probably will be better, but with the Saranids, I think, uh, at least personally, I think, we'll not have as much ease, you know, conquering them. You know what I'm actually interested in? What would happen if we just stayed a vassal or whatever for the kingdom of Swadia the whole time and then one day we captured the whole everything? Yeah, that, that would actually be something I think good to do. Future decisions, man. Future decisions. So yeah, I think we should stay a vassal and just eventually conquer the whole thing one day. Is this a Malmuke? I want to kill you just so I can figure out what you were called. Um, yeah, seriously, what are you called? die um i think I, I don't know he has a, he just looks really heavily armored whatever he is or is he just like a uh, he's their elite unit it looks like but i don't know what their elite units are called yet come on get out of here stop attacking me ow oh god my horse is about to die and i'm about to die hey hey get out of here come on what'd you get oh serenade guard hmm i've never seen those before i don't know what that is so yeah, that was another Saranid guard. I don't know if those are like their elite units or whatever. We're actually getting some of my guys are getting wounded by those Saranid guard. Oh, hello. You are the people I want to be killing in this battle because you actually seem like 
you could hold your weight in a fight. So we got you. Yeah, so we're actually not destroying these guys, which is a first. So we'll stab you and look, look, we're gonna gang up on this guy. This is maybe not. This is not maybe applying to the code of chivalry. No, it, I think it'll, that applies to the code of chivalry. It might not be the most honorable thing to do, but it is definitely necessary in wars. There's no way we're going to beat these people. Oh, yep, there you go. So we got 272 experience. Yeah, I get a whole ton of experience from killing those guys, which is exactly what I want to do. And uh, so we... Did I really not kill you? How did I not kill you? There we killed you. We slit your throat right there, boy. But, uh, so yeah, the war against the Saranids, this is going to be, I think, a little bit more difficult, but at the same time, I think it'll be a little bit more easy, or a little easier. You know, I, I don't think it'll be completely difficult, but I think it'll, it'll be, or like, a, yeah, I don't think it'll be like a slaughterhouse as it was before. I think we might actually lose some men here. Uh, yeah, I got one killed. I lost one man-at-arms, which, you know, it's whatever. I have plenty of them. 48. So, uh, let's see. Now these guys are getting too fast. I can't speed ahead of them anymore, which I don't like. I liked being able to speed ahead of them. Actually, you know what, now that they're all on horses and stuff, let's just jump behind them and actually, you know what, let's break out this thing. And let's use this. Um, here, let's see, where are you? Oh, let's stop one of them. Hey, don't attack my men like that. Don't attack them like that. Um, what you got? Oh, nope, Slaver Chief, watch out. So let's go attack, let's go stab somebody. Um, let's go stab somebody. That is definitely a good mindset for your day. Right before you go to... Oh, someone advanced in level. Awesome. Jeremus. Jeremus advanced to level 13. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, you managed to escape... I'll capture some Elm Ukes, because you're just pure rape. Roddick Train Crossbowman. Roddick Spearman. Roddick Veteran Crossbowman. Yeah, I'll capture the... I'll hire the Crossbowman and just go put them away somewhere. Train Spearman. Veteran Roddick Sergeant Slave Driver. I'll hire a Slave Driver Roddick Sergeant. You are pretty good, too. I'll put you in my castle, actually. I don't even want you for myself. Slaver Chief, uh, Swadian Knights, Roddick Spearman, Train Spe Yeah, you know what? I'll just hire all of you. And Veteran Spearman, and just put you in my castle. I don't even want you for myself. And uh, let's see. We got Rusty Saranid Guard Armor. That seems to be pretty decent, considering the Saranid Guards are pretty elite. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of Daenerys from that, which is awesome. So, let's see, some soldiers are ready to upgrade, so we got some more swatting footmen, we got man-at-arms, we got Jeremus over here, we got a Roddick Sergeant, which, again, I just want to put them in my castle, I don't actually care so much about them, the Slave Crushers both are wounded now, so let's go talk to Jeremus, uh, let me see your equipment, you have, what, a hunting crossbow, chip, Nordic sword, so, well, the Nord, sword, that. The war with the Nords is over, so now we have to give you something else. So, what are those? Leather boots? I don't want to give you cowboy boots if they're not better. No, they're not better. Um, iron battle axe. That actually seems to be quite good. Um, elite cavalry shield, but you're not a horse. You're not on a horse. Do you have any two-handed weapons? Iron mace. This actually seems to be really pretty damn good. So, and what about this? Rusty, Saranid, Crude, 35, 9, 35, 5. 19, 14, oh yeah, that's crude studded leather coat, that's actually really good, um, rusty plated boots, weight 3, this is weight 1.3, 16, 17, yeah, it's not worth the extra weight though, you gotta stay fast and agile, so let me, no, let me return, let me, what can you tell me about your skills, um, let's increase your two-handed weapons as well, actually, let's just put it all into two-handed weapons, uh, you know what, one-handed weapons, as long as we're there, and let's increase, hmm, you're really smart, but, uh, let's increase your agility, wound treatment surgery, but well, we have two people competing for that, that's the only thing, there's no point, I don't think, in having that many people that good at that, we should increase something else on you, like trainer, now let's increase this, and let's do athletics, we'll increase by one, and two-handed weapons, so never mind, very good, now you should be a lot faster and get to the places you need to go faster, and, uh, yeah, that should just all around be good. So let's see if we have a slave trader here by some odd stroke of luck. And, uh, actually, you're, you're at war with them as well. So where is the slave trader? Let's actually go to Veluca and see what's going on down here at Veluca. So we'll go down here. Um, some soldiers are ready to upgrade. Awesome. So, you know what? Actually, before I do anything, let's, 
let's take an action let's uh recruit some prisoners from your party two sarinid malmukes awesome so we got both of them right there and sarinid malmukes if you don't know they are very very good they are pretty comparable to the knights so rotic trained crossbowman rotic veteran crossbowman rotic sharpshooter that's awesome rotic veteran spearman uh train spearmen we have very high that's probably because we have all these rodox mixed in my party and we are at war with the rodox in case you didn't know so let's go to Valuka. oh to the army instructs more men do haste if you don't have enough to his new military campaign awesome so um can't uh no where is this berglin um so let's go to berglin and see what's going on there all right you're way up here wait wait we we're right near you we were just there um, so where does he go? Wait, wait. Oh, he's besieging Durham. Why are you... I don't know if that's the best idea, man. I don't know if it is the best idea at all. So, hmm. Mm, where are you, Count Haragoth? Count Raffard? Uh, I wish joy of your victory. Thank you. Um, but Count Mariga, Count Rias, did I talk to you after the fact? Yeah, see, uh, current castle, yes, yeah, so I see you like me a little bit more now, you don't hate me at least. Um, where is Count Raffrad, or Raffrad or Hargith? Delinard, how are you doing, Delinard? I haven't talked to you in some time. Um, hmm, very good, very good. So, let's see, Count Hargith. Um, so you can Congo Um, we can remove your mercy. We are ready to join you. Excellent, I'm leaving soon. Now you're a man of sound judgment. I support your additional tasks to perform. Alright. New quest, follow Count Hargath's army. And I'll ask him again. Um, well, Kongodomo, you have Quinn. Count Regis. Um, anyone have power? Who supports Count Clargus? Count Mariga. Do you support Count Clargus? You actually don't like me the best. FIFA, I support myself. Anyway, that you're freaking cocky. Go away. <laughs> Count Rius, Count, I don't know any of you, Count Raffard, you're my best friend here, right, yeah, so, thief of, uh, Count Rius, um, let me tell you who I'm, I support Count Rius, um, awesome, oh, Count Rius likes me, never mind, me and Count Rius are friends now, I did not know this, so let's go to party, and let's actually do Rodok, I don't care about the Rodoks, I, I really don't care about losing Rodoks, so uh, we're just gonna put all the Rodok people in the front, Rodok trained crossbowmen, um, slave, mercenary, horseman, lion, drama, swatting, footman, bunduk, slave, driver, where are all these people I just recruited? Oh, right here. Rodic sergeant, yeah, all you guys, I don't like you, so, and I don't really care about you, so we're gonna put you at the top. So can we just move you up? No, we have to actually do this. Rodic veteran spearman, uh, Rodic sharpshooter, you actually will put up there. And, who else? Rodic you. So hopefully I can just get rid of all these Rodoks. Or actually, I, that's the point. I really don't care, honestly. So uh, we'll just wait here for actually. Do I have food? Yeah, I have plenty of food. So let's wait here for some time. Uh, yeah, he wants to talk to me. So Count Hargith. Well, Congo Domo. Um, want to go to Amir, Ashok, and Tishpatin. Okay. So Amir, Tishpatik, and something else. So where's Amir? Where the hell is Amir? Oh god, it's gonna be some ridiculously far place because we don't actually have any. God damn it. Um. Amir. I know Amir. Oh, it's right here. Silly me. Um, so let's go here. And now that I could actually kill all these guys on my own. Uh, King Alice. Kingdom of whatever. Alright, so we got scouted you. Where else? Ushukuru is right there. So then where is. Tishpatin. Alright, these places are all really, really close, aren't they? So I say we go to Tishpatin next, and then, actually, you know what, since we're right here anyway, may as well go. Um, Amir is scouted, uh, so let's go to you, your Khanate left, and yeah, we'll go sprint over here, and alright, so now let's report back, and uh, see what's going on over here. So, let's see, Count Hargath, there you go. Um... So you can come a uh, simple task, sir. And do you love me more now? So anything else, I must beg my leave. So now let's go see what troops we can upgrade. And uh, hopefully, you know, in the next episode or so, we can actually... Uh, Swatting and Footman, Man-at-Arms. So hopefully in the next episode or so, we can actually... Oh, you are under siege. 
approach the siege camp. Join the next assault. Alright, so we better get Durim back. Ah, oh, I forgot to equip my other thing. Damn, I forgot to equip the crossbow. So, I say we order my men to follow me. God damn it. Saranid Master Archer. Yeah, I don't think I have anyone I actually really care about here. So, uh, yeah. But I'm actually going to end today's episode right here just so I can have the whole next episode being the Castle Siege. So, thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Thanks for watching.